Sunday of Lent Year A Resurrection and Life In the first reading, Ezekiel 37, 12-14, God says He will open graves and have His people rise. He will put His Spirit in us that we may live. God wants us to have life and freedom in living it. In the second reading, St. Paul speaks to the Romans. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also, through His Spirit dwelling in you. The Holy Spirit lives in us. He gives us life. In the Gospel, Jesus declares, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. An important question for reflection this Lent is, what are we dead or numb to that needs redeeming? Are we dead to loving and caring for our spouse, children, siblings over the years? Are we dead to the marginalised in our neighbourhood? The homeless, the jobless, the abused, the lonely, the elderly? Are we dead to caring for our church and clergy needs? Are we dead in our prayer life? Do we want to be redeemed? Lent is a season of God's grace for us all. He invites us into a deep union with Him and communion with neighbours. A transition from sin, living in the flesh, to grace, living in the spirit, from death to life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He is waiting for us to return to him. Just as Jesus called Lazarus out of the tomb, he is calling us too. We can bring the areas we are dead to for revival. He will help us rise and live holistically and righteously as Christians. Let us pray. Jesus, you are our resurrection and life. This Lent, help us, Jesus, to transform from sin to grace and life in you. Help us to live in the Spirit. Amen.